Today we're going to draw and paint some of your favourite toys. Do you have a favourite toy? Can you guess what this is? That's right, it's a ball! All you have to do is draw a big circle shape and then decorate it with any pattern you like. We're doing some curvy stripes. The curves show the round shape of the ball. Red for the first stripe. What colour shall we do for the second one? Yellow! What a wonderful idea! That stands out really well next to the red. Now what kind of games can you play with a ball? Let me see. Catch, football, netball, rugby, but that's a different shaped ball. Maybe even ping pong. What's your favourite ball game? Pretty pink stripe, lovely. Next we're going for green. We like variety. It could even be a ball ball hanging from a Christmas tree. Look at it sparkle. And we are done. Brilliant. Well done. Next, we're going to learn how to draw one of your all-time favourite toys. Now, can you guess what it is from the outline? Just copy our shape. You can pause the video if you need to. That's right, it's a duck. Now where might you play with a toy duck? In the bath perhaps? Maybe it's one of those ducks that lights up when it hits the water. Maybe it's one of those ducks that squirts water at you. Gorgeous yellow with a pink wing. What colour would you like to paint your duck? Let's do a turquoise blue eye. And finally, the beak is going to be gold. Lovely. Quack, quack. Right, what's next? Can you guess what this is? I'll give you three guesses. Hmm. A pile of books? No. A light? No, that's not a toy. That's right, it's stacking rings. Did you ever play with these when you were a baby? They're brilliant. You get a big ring, a medium ring, a small ring, even smaller, 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 and you have to stack them in the right order. They're usually lovely rainbow colours. We're going to do ours nice and bright too. So we've got turquoise blue, followed by bright pink, followed by even brighter green. So you just do lots of long oval shapes with a triangle on top. Each one is smaller than the one underneath it. Yellow next. So that triangle at the top is the top of the stick that we stack our rings on. That's going to be purple. Almost there. Done. Excellent stacking rings. Next, I'm going to see if you can guess what this is. A circle, a rectangle, another circle with a smaller circle inside. Rectangle, hmm, a circle there, a semicircle there, another rectangle and another. What could it be? That's right, it's a train. Do you have a toy train? Or maybe a train set? I love those ones that link onto each other. Even the ones that go on the wooden train tracks and you can fill the whole floor with train tracks. This is gorgeous red and green. Beautiful. What are your favourite colours? What colour is your train? We're going to use pink for the front. It's 
going to be our wheels. Round and round and round, just the big part, leaving the middle part empty. The end is going to be purple too, and a yellow window. And the back side. And the inner wheels too. And there you have it, a very nice colourful train. Excellent! Last but not least, we are going to draw my all-time favourite. Da -da -da. It's a rocking horse! That's right! Now if you find it a little bit tricky to do the outline, then you can pause the video as you go along and just do one bit at a time. Right, ready to paint? Starting with a gorgeous, natural, peachy, rosy colour, we're going to paint the main body of our horsey. Shall we give it a name? What do you think it should be called? Harry the horse? How about Henrietta the horse? What do you think? We're going to use brown for our wooden bottom part. That's the rocker that it is set upon. And the tail is going to be brown too. And the mane. So that's our horse's hair. Now we're going for purple. We're going to do a purple saddle. Lovely. What colour shall we do the eye? Blue. What a great idea. And yellow at the bottom. There you go. It's a beautiful rocking horse. Well done. Bye. Subscribe and watch more. Cheeky eye.